Hi again, and thank you for tuning in to Marketing Automation Made Simple podcast. This is your host, Yovana from bumperleads.com, and I am on a mission to simplify the world of marketing and automation for small business owners around the world so they can save time, money, and scale their businesses faster. Today, I am excited to close off this season with a company that we've all grown up with. Every one of us would have used their platform to kickstart our careers in digital marketing. Or if you're a business owner uh, who has a website, you would have seen their logo everywhere online and use their platform to automate your first marketing email. My guest today is Adam Enga, who is the Chief Sales Officer and Head of International at Intuit MailChimp. Did I say MailChimp? Yes, you've heard me right. MailChimp is a brand that has inspired many of us and it continues to surprise us. With the recent acquisition by Intuit, MailChimp will be expanding their offering to serve more small and mid-sized businesses by integrating with Intuit product suite. Think QuickBooks Online, MailChimp Deep Data Integration. That sounds very exciting to me. <laughs> I've met Adam Anger here in Melbourne, Australia, as they're also looking to expand offices globally. Uh, they're looking to partner with more savvy digital marketers uh, and help more small businesses thrive. So I'm very excited to dive into this episode with Adam. Welcome to the show, Adam. Hi, Giovanna. Great, uh, great to see you again. And uh, thank you for having me uh, for the conversation. Uh, thank you. Thank you for coming on the show. Um, can you tell our listeners, um, they would probably want to know about your background, uh, what you did prior to joining Intuit, and what your role is at Intuit Belgium. So let's open up with that. Sure. Um, well, I um, I've been uh, I joined the Intuit Mailchimp uh, team uh, about uh, nine months ago now. Um, so I've come in after the in Intuit acquired the company, um, and as you said, I'm responsible for both our sales and our uh, over our all uh, our total international business. Um, and so I came in as part of uh, the company, building out kind of a refreshed leadership team. To really take uh, into a Mailchimp into its next era of growth, uh, as you pointed out, the company's been around a long time. Uh, you know, it's a twenty-plus-year-old company. It's a billion-dollar-plus business now, part of Intuit, and um, uh, and the, it's, the company's enjoyed amazing success. Uh, but as we'll, I think we'll talk about a little bit more deeply, uh, there's an incredible opportunity in terms of the future for Mailchimp, and uh, I'm excited to be you know leading a big part of that. Um, but to answer your question about my background, um, I, um, I've always, uh, for the last many years, I've actually been working in a different part of solving challenges for marketing. Um, so I came from a different marketing channel, uh, most recently with Google, where I was uh, leading a big part of the SMB uh, business for Google Ads. So working with small and mid-sized companies on um, their, their marketing uh, growth uh, using the Google Ads platform. Um, and I was um, doing that for the last seven or, year, seven or so years uh, here in New York City. Um, um, and then uh, before that, I was with Microsoft for many years. And in fact, work in the, worked in the APAC region where I spent a lot of time in Australia as well. Wow. Okay. I didn't know about the Microsoft as well. Um, <laughs> that's a yeah, very, very nice background there. Um, Google uh, advertising, Google ads, everybody would have been doing that. And you would have seen the power of you know, capturing leads, uh, bringing them into a database like MailChimp. Um, is, is that something that you see now around MailChimp? Uh, how has it changed since the acquisition at Intuit with all of those tools that you guys have um, and seeing the power of that um, database for small business owners? Well, it's interesting. Um, it's coming up on almost three years since, um, since Intuit acquired the company. And um and and it's pretty amazing to see what kind of opportunity that's opening up for the Mailchimp business. Um, and I'll explain that a little bit a little bit more. Um, you know, Mailchimp is known and is known to be and is the the leading email and marketing automation platform in the world, just in terms of market share and number of m number of customers. Um, what is really exciting now, though, that Mailchimp gets to be part of a bigger solving a set of challenges in a bigger way for small and mid-sized companies. And you think about what Intuit is focused on as a company. You know, Intuit is a company that has the mission around powering prosperity uh, for consumers and, and, and businesses around the world. And um, 
what the where how where Mailchimp comes in. It's part of a bigger ambition of actually creating a platform that kind of can be the the end to end platform for helping small and mid sized companies both run their business and also grow their business. Um, and quick but the the Intuit legacy and um, and and success to date has been in a few products, including the QuickBooks pr uh, product, which is the accounting and financial management software, really to run the business. And with the addition of Mailchimp into the Intuit family, now there's this opportunity to have this one platform that both runs the business but also helps grow the business, which is where Mailchimp comes in as part of the equation. So that's where it becomes really exciting. And um, we've even seen over the last, you know, almost three years, an incredible opportunity to accelerate some of the growth and development and innovation on the core Mailchimp platform, but starting to imagine and starting to realize some of the power of bringing the products together in one end-to-end -end business suite. Yeah, that's amazing to hear. I, I'm not familiar with all of the Intuit products. Um, what are some of the other ones that maybe our listeners could learn more about? Well, for our listeners that are in the North America market, they'll be familiar with some of the consumer products that are part of um, uh, the, the Intuit family. So that is TurboTax, which is you know used for filing uh, uh, annual taxes. Um, it is the predominant platform that many most consumers use in the U.S. and, and also in Canada. Um, there's also the Credit Karma business, which was an acquisition that Intuit made several years ago that helps customers understand their credit position and how to um, uh, maximize their, their credit position uh, with financial planning. Um, and then there's the small business and uh, self-employed division of the company, which is where the QuickBooks business sits. And that's really, uh, QuickBooks is a suite of capabilities or products, the predominant one that people know is is uh, is quick is quick the QuickBooks accounting software, the financial management. So managing your accounting to essentially run the operations of a of a small or mid sized company, and there's now variations of uh, the QuickBooks product line for managing payroll and time tracking, for managing payments of so getting money in and out of your business, and so there's uh, adjacent businesses that are building out as part of the QuickBooks portfolio as well. Yeah, it sounds a lot. <laughs> a lot of opportunities there for Mailchimp uh, to get uh, and for us to get excited about. Um, I know that uh, if we talk about just Mailchimp as a product, um, it's always been known as a as a great uh, email marketing platform. How do you see the future of email marketing and its role evolving, especially with the rise of AI? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I'll, I'll, it's really interesting you, as you started off the the discussion today with the introduction that uh, you know most marketers at some point started their marketing career working with with uh, with email marketing, right? I mean, how long ago did you start using email marketing, Javada? Uh, in my first business, actually, I had an e-commerce business, uh, two thousand and fourteen. Okay, yeah. So that <laughs> to my point, right? That's uh, that's uh, and that's yes. a long time where. 10 years. Yeah. And many companies have been using it for even much longer, right? I think the rise of where email marketing really started to become powerful for marketers was like in the 90s, right? Um, so so it's been around a long time. It's probably the, most, the original digital marketing channel, right? Or been around for multiple decades. But since then, there's been the rise of these other uh, marketing channels, right? Paid media um, in terms of both search and display, and over time, social has become um, uh, really important channels for marketers as well. But I would say that there's a, 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 some, some trends that are happening more recently that is actually putting email marketing back at center stage. Um, first of all, I think we all know that most businesses are feeling the financial squeeze in to some degree. Um, you know, they're being asked to be more efficient with operating expenses, they're being asked to do more with less, and that applies to marketers as well. And you'll see the also the challenges of some of the other marketing channels. You know, we're entering into supposedly someday this cookie list world, right? So the attribution in how paid media is going to really perform is also a little bit in in question. And so I think there's a number of things that are turning marketers to really look at owned channels as a really important channel to make sure you're in doubling down and investing in and optimizing to really get the most out of your current customers and figuring out how to use your own channels to create and generate new customers as well. And so we're really excited because I think it is 
prime time for email once again. Um, and that's why, you know, 87, 87% of marketers say email is really one of the most critical channels for their success. And it's why it's a $12 billion industry by the end of 2024. Um, so that's kind of, you know, why I think it's at the center stage. But I think where, to also address your question, where generative AI comes in is, you know, email marketing of the past is not going to do what uh, marketers need for today and in the future. Um, email marketing and marketing in general, it, we're in the era where only it's the personalized e e um, marketing that is actually going to break through and resonate with 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 uh, with audiences. And so that's where I think the future of email marketing and a lot of where we're focused here at Intuit MailChimp is really focused is how do we move into an era of hyper personalized marketing and you can only do that with the power and capabilities of AI. Yes, it's so true. That hyper personalization that's always been a buzzword here in the digital world since I've been <laughs> working in this space. Uh, and some some platforms have done a really good job with that. And I, I really have um, very great expectations of MailChimp and Intuit MailChimp uh, doing this, especially delivering that for small businesses. Um, what is your definition? Just for listeners, how would you define hyper-personalization? Well, I think it's, um, it's I mean, a lot of people, you, we, we've heard this said a lot, but it really does come down to how much of your marketing is done in a way where you're getting the right message to the right audience at the right time. Um, and it is nearly impossible to do that with a big person percentage of your, of your marketing efforts without the assistance of platforms and technology that AI really delivers. Um, so I think that's what, you know, good and success looks like at the end of the day. And most importantly, when you're doing that, the end outcome is your brand or your company or your organization is talking in a way that has relevance and, you know, a closer relevance to the audience that you're talking to. And we know when you can speak in a relevant way and you, and you can resonate in a tone and a manner and in subjects and products and services that people care about most, they're going to be interested in engaging with you. And, you know, and for, for businesses that sell something, they're probably going to be more interested in buying from you. Um, and so, and that's what, you know, we've done a lot of surveys to understand what are the sensitivity points of personalized email and marketing and resounding feedback is, you know, percentage, a pretty large percentage of consumers say they're more likely to buy from or interact with a brand when, when it, when it's personalized. And, you know, the latest survey we did is like something around 70, 80% of consumers are more likely to buy from a brand when it's, when it's personalized. So, um, yeah, yeah a little bit long-winded, but, but that's what I, <laughs> that's what I'd say. That's a good answer. <laughs> uh, so what are some of the new product features do you think MailChimp has implemented, um, you know, to aid to that hyper-personalization? Well, I think the, 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 the the thing to know is part of um, being part of the Intuit family is all of Intuit's um, AI uh, capability or all of Mailchimp's uh, AI capabilities are built on top of a platform called Gen OS, and Gen OS is Intuit's um, um, uh, AI technologies, um, and different products across the Intuit family can pull in um, the capabilities of this AI platform. And it comes into the product in the form of Intuit Assist. Intuit Assist in MailChimp is essentially your AI-powered marketing assistant. And one of the capabilities that we're most excited about is um, that is starting to really, you know, produce meaningful impact is to basically be able to auto-generate um, segments uh, for customers. And I know you've talked a lot about this on your podcast is the power of segmentation. Um, is really what ends up powering and making automations really, really relevant for, for, for marketers. And so if Intuit Assist and the Gen AI capabilities that sit behind that are able to almost automatically create some of the segments of your customers, um, that's one thing that you know I think marketers are getting really excited about because segmentation is the key to so much of the personalization that they want to enable. And in order to do that, it's, you know, we know that the, the most fundamental ingredient for AI to be, to be relevant for marketers is the data that powers it. 
And that's what we get really excited about because that's when you start to look at the broader Intuit capabilities, integrating with a platform like QuickBooks. Customers that are using QuickBooks for their financial management software, imagine the amount of data that sits behind that, transaction data. Um, all of the customers that have actually, you know, purchased from or interacted with your company, vendors who have worked with your company, cost data, all of that data can come into play in terms of powering and understanding uh, a full perspective of your, of your customers. Uh, and now there's also 300 plus integrations with the Intuit MailChimp platform. Imagine all the e-commerce platforms, the major e-commerce platforms integrate, and that's an opportunity to pull in data. So you really start to get this full data picture of our customers' customers that really power some of this segmentation and automation. And then I think the, the, the other thing that you know, Intuit Assist is doing inside Intuit MailChimp, it's also powering some of the content creation. We know for email marketing, that's a big uh, area that Gen AI typically plays. And um, we're starting to see that in terms of Gen AI becoming uh, a, an assistant in how to create you know, email content that we know is going to resonate in, in, with different audiences. And what's most powerful and what marketers on the Intuit MailChimp platform are getting excited about is the role that it plays in, in customizing and fine-tuning the subject line. We know the subject line is so critical to really influence open rates of, uh, of emails. And if Gen AI can be a sit, an assistant to, to enhance that and make it better, that's, um, that's music to most yeah. marketers' ears. Revenue, yeah. <laughs> more sales, good sit, subject line equals more sales. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so it sounds like there's quite a lot of things, and I love that you can use, you, you guys have access to all this data, and you can obviously power the, these AI tools, and the users, MailChimp users can go in and just ask this assistant to create segments. I mean, that's that's really powerful. Um, it just saves you so much time. It's amazing how much time you can save just uh, by having a little assistant helping you and guiding you. Um, what do you think uh, the future looks like, but the future roadmap looks like for MailChimp? Well, there's a couple things. Um, one is um, MailChimp not only being a great um, uh, marketing automation platform that is powered by the 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 AI technology of Intuit Assist, um, but also, like I said, being part of this bigger business suite that is solving the most important challenges of any small or mid-sized company, which is both running the business with a lot of the software that QuickBooks, but also growing the business. So being part of that bigger suite, you can imagine it paints a, an important opportunity for, for MailChimp and for the customers that are going to be able to benefit the power of, of the products coming together. Um, you can imagine being in your QuickBooks um, product and getting a trigger to notify how you might have a revenue opportunity if you're able to switch on an automation of reaching out to customers that have you know a certain kind of purchase history. Those are the kind of scenarios we get really excited about lighting up for our customers. I think the second thing is, again, figuring out the scenarios of how AI is really going to help make marketing simpler for our customers. And I love the mission you talked about when you introduce your every, every episode of your podcast. You talk about making marketing simpler and turn through the power of automations. And um, that's exactly what AI in, in these platforms are meant to do. But in, you know, it's funny, we had a, uh, an event quite recently, shortly before I met you in Sydney, and, you know, I asked all the marketers in the room, how many are using AI? Pretty much all the hands went up, as you would expect. But they're all using AI in a very kind of um, piecemeal, I would say clunky kind of way, right? They're going over to ChatGPT. They're co copying and pasting something over into another tool. And so the opportunity for us is how do we integrate that into a platform for it so it really does become your marketing assistant that's sitting aside with you or built right into the interface of the tool you're using every single day. And the other exciting part of the AI innovation for us on the roadmap is how does it also become your link to actual human experts? Um, we built our AI platform. So not only does it help you and, and, and shortcut some of your opportunity to get things done or give you advice, but it can also be smart about routing you to an actual human expert when that becomes really helpful. In the accounting world, that's routing you to an accountant. And then a marketing world, it's routing you to a marketing expert. 
Um, and then the other big part of our roadmap for MailChimp is uh, why I met you a few weeks ago is uh, we're excited about the expansion of our business internationally. MailChimp already has more than 50% of our customers from uh, countries outside the US. And that's without having too many people outside of the US. And so we're now um, expanding our team globally so we can actually be closer to our customers and to our partners um, because we know that's going to be a really critical part of bringing our our um, our expertise to the benefit of our customers. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I think it makes a big difference uh, having somebody physically present here from MailChimp, especially in Australia. Uh, we have so many um, savvy digital marketing agencies uh, who would really benefit from the program. For example, myself personally, I haven't really, I didn't know uh, up until that uh, meeting we had uh, that MailChimp has a partnership program. So I was like, how come I didn't really think about that? <laughs> Can you I tell know. Us well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not only do we have a partnership program, but we have an, a, a pretty awesome partnership partnership program that is changing and enhancing every single day. Um, and one of the first changes we made quite recently, because uh, we have more than a thousand partners already in the program from more than 60 countries around the world. But one of the things we've done recently is we wanted to make sure that we made it, we wanted to make it very clear that MailChimp is the leading platform and is the platform for digital marketing agencies to turn to first uh, when you want to power your customers with the best AI-driven, um, you know, uh, marketing platform, and so to make sure that that was very obvious, we made some changes for 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 partners, uh, for for agencies. So we changed the you know uh, financial arrangements. So um, you know, for partners that you know uh, have bring customers or manage customers that are on the Mailchimp platform, of course, there's an opportunity to 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 gain a share of that revenue. And we wanted to make sure our um, our terms of that are the most competitive in the industry. And so we made some changes more recently to do that. And, and that's one of the things we get excited about. The second thing is, like I said, making sure we get teams locally and closer to our to our customers and, and, and to our partners. So you've got folks to work with. So and 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 sales teams you can work with in terms of you know going together to 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 serve some of the clients that you're trying to trying to trying to to, to power. Um, and then the third thing is, you know, investing in a lot of the capabilities to make sure that um, marketers inside agencies um, know how to get the most out of the MailChimp platform and know how to take advantage of some of the best practices in the industry, especially with the evolving um, nature of, of AI. And so, you know, we're investing a lot there. And, and that's one of the reasons that, you know, we're doing a couple events coming up. Uh, we've got an event coming up in London. Um, it's called From Here to There. It's going to be uh, in mid-June. And then we're going to do a similar type of event like that in uh, in Sydney, Australia. So I'm coming back to Australia and we're going to be hosting an event um, for, for for both customers as well as for 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 a lot of the marketing agencies. So oh, that's exciting. Uh, so this event, uh, the events in London and uh, Sydney, uh, how could our listeners get involved like, if they wanted to find out more information about that? Well, maybe we'll uh, we'll give you a we'll give you a link to it, and uh, if you want to include it in the the details that that uh, accompany the podcast, we'll make sure we do that. Otherwise, you you'll be able to find it on the homepage of Mailchimp.com okay, as well. Good, good. Um, and also, I was thinking about all the other marketers who are listening in. How can they find out more or learn more about the partnership program? Is that somewhere on the website they can find out? Yeah, you go to Mailchimp.com. I think it's slash partners, but if it's not, you'll see it in the drop down menu at the top. Um, uh, right. to make sure that, you know, you can pull down all the latest information and you can also, uh, search and, and look for partners that are already working with MailChimp. Mm, yes. Yeah, of course. Well, I was going to ask you my last question, which was going to be, what could automation experts like us get excited about? Uh, but everything you said, it's quite exciting. <laughs> 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 you guys are doing all the great things. AI well, segmentation. I think there's... I mean, I should ask the same to you because, uh, you know, it is, it, I think it is a super exciting time if you're a marketer who's looking at how do you make your life simpler and how do you make your, 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 your life better for the, for the businesses or organizations that you're supporting. There's so many tools. I think the most challenging thing is to know how to sift through the different tools that are out there. You know, you talk to most marketers and you do this every day. 
they're working with a plethora of different tools. And that's why, you know, what we're focused on is how can you bring a lot of the capabilities into one end-to-end -end platform? And as much as that platform can link in and bring in some of the data that powers all the capabilities of AI, that's the thing that I think gets excited. Um, but you need to, you know, you need to be focused on the platform that can connect as much data as possible um, and bring the capabilities of AI and the interface that people are using and comfortable with every single day. Yes, you're so right. Well, thank you so much, Adam. I think we can, um, yeah, really get excited about every all the opportunities that exist with MailChimp. It's almost been, what, 20, 30 years now. Uh, and it seems like the future for MailChimp is just endless, infinite. Sounds like into it, infinite. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, thank you so much. I, I'd like to, I think we're close uh, close to um, end of the show. So I'd like to thank you for being my guest and sharing all this wonderful uh, information for our listeners who I have no doubt will be going to you, your website and checking things out. Um, if you haven't used MailChimp in a long time, now is the time to, to log in and find out all this exciting information uh, that MailChimp is doing with Intuit. Thank you so much for being a guest on my show. Thanks so much, Giovanna. And I'll see you in Australia again very soon. Of course. I look forward to seeing you in Sydney. Thank you. <laughs>